YouTube believes I'm a right-wing evangelical anti-vaxxer. And they might be right. All right, so let me tell you this story. Uh, first thing, you've, um, the YouTube algorithm, you've heard that uh, name thrown about. And basically all that is, is a computer program on the YouTube platform that tracks your viewing habits. And based on what you spend a lot of time watching and best, based on what you click on, the YouTube algorithm will give you more of the same. There, its goal is to maximize the number of views and the length of time people spend watching videos. And the goal of that is so they can charge advertisers money. If advertisers know that people are watching cat videos, then cat videos get uh, can uh, provide a higher rate of return for the um, YouTube channel and for YouTube as a result. So the whole basis of it is to provide eyes, provide um, length of viewing time, for advertising. Okay, so with that said, um, how it all started was you'll need to know a little bit about my pet peeves. And two of my greatest pet peeves are um, cursing and bad grammar. And as a result, I've blocked channels that have cursing and I've blocked channels, refuse to watch channels that you know, people are mangling the English language. People are using and by using i i mean misusing the word literally every uh 10 seconds they are saying things they I have no idea of the um, past participles so they'll say things like I, sh I should have went and it's just annoying grates on my nerves so i block those channels because i don't want to get dumber by by watching them and the anger and the hostility and the vulgarity is just something that i don't want to be assaulted with every day but i did a video on that and i'll put a link to Walt's uh, grammar police rant in the description. So with that said, I started, this was months ago, I started blocking different channels. There's, uh, I can't watch anything with Joe Rogan, as popular as he is. He, every other sentence has the F word, and so I, I just can't keep watching that and be assaulted. The only comedy I'll watch is dry bar comedy. And if you don't believe that comedians can be funny without cursing, Check that out. You'll find it. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it very um, entertaining. And um, so I blocked all of these channels. YouTube has a, a feature where uh, if a um, video shows up in your feed, you can save it to watch later, or you can uh, report it, or you can um, block the channel. Do not recommend this channel in the future. And that's what I've done. So I'll be watching a video, and then, you know, the minute... The second the curse word comes in, I stop the video, go back to my feed, and I block that channel. So I've blocked many, many channels over uh, the last few months. And as a result, the YouTube algorithm has had to now find different channels to suggest. And however it's been programmed, uh, as I've been blocking these various channels, uh, opinion channels, um, uh, comedy channels, uh, skit, comedy sketch uh, channels. They have found a new set of videos, a new set of channels to suggest to me. And it just so happens that those tend to be what others would call more right-leaning content. So I find myself now uh, introduced to The Quartering. And Jeremy is pretty cool. I watch him. Uh, as a footnote, I had to stop watching The Quartering just because of the literally thing. Uh, hope uh, Jeremy gets a wind of this. Um, I think that's how I uh, discovered Matt Walsh as well, and The Hill, and Babylon B. So YouTube has decided that because I'm not um, watching certain types of channels that have vulgarity, and I, I'm sh pretty sure YouTube is not aware that that's the reason that I'm I'm blocking those channels. They're probably using some other criteria to. Uh, categorize those channels. So once I block uh, channel A, they say, okay, this uh, person might be more right-leaning since this we've categorized this as a left-leaning channel. So as a result, now um, 
I've been open uh, to a lot of channels that I might normally you know, not have found. And what I've noticed is that these channels tend to be right-leaning and uh, I've also gotten different ads. Different ads are now showing up on those channels, obviously, because they're catering to a different market. So I find more Christian um, themed ads showing up. So uh, that's pretty interesting. So right now I'm getting an introduction. Uh, it's been going on for a few months, but I'm getting an introduction to the other side that um, I wasn't privy to before. Now, here's something to keep in mind. I am not a U.S. citizen and I don't vote, so I don't have a party that I'm affiliated with. But YouTube has to make certain assumptions, especially given the politicized nature of everything on the planet or everything in the U.S. society these days. So they've decided that I'm now uh, more right-leaning. They've decided... I've also, because of my health views, I've uh, thought out and typically watch videos by doctors who are not uh, political in their assessment of the pandemic and the vaccine and that sort of thing. So uh, I'm watching John, Dr. John Campbell and Dr. Bean and others as well. So now the videos that are being shown to me are... Um, videos uh, like GBN News or Sky News Australia and The Hill and and others that, um, as I said, people would consider right-leaning. So that's pretty interesting. So that now YouTube believes I'm a right-winger. Uh, YouTube believes that I'm an anti-vaxxer. And uh, I've been showing, I've been shown um, Christian-themed uh, um, ads so that's my new uh, demographic. That's how I'll identify as far as YouTube is concerned. And now here's the, the point. Here's the, the bottom line. There are always going to be people who will judge you. And oh, here's something else I'd like to point out. One of the things that becomes obvious um, is that there are, as pe people know intellectually, there are two different sets of news. And... I'll uh, just give you two examples of things that are really interesting is that a few weeks ago, I, um, there, was, there is an ongoing boycott of Bud Light. And as a result of Bud Light's decision to partner with um, a transgender individual, sales dropped as much, their market cap capitalization dropped as much as seven billion dollars in just as many days, seven days. Um, so it's an interesting phenomenon that is making big news in a lot of uh, ch on a lot of channels. But if you go to left leaning channels, like I check uh, the Huffington Post, you know, every day to see what the headlines are. There is absolutely no mention of this whatsoever on any, you know, not even as a footnote. Um, and the other thing is uh, excess deaths and uh, adverse effects of the vaccine. You will find no mention of it at all, whereas on certain sites, that's the only thing that, that is being talked about. And you'll see the number of people in the comments, number of people being interviewed. So if you want a sample of that, Check out trial site news and you'll get a taste of what uh, the other side is. And here's the thing. They, these are not made up stories. This is not, uh, as I used to think, you know, just people inflating a, a, a non-issue just for the sake of uh, clicks and likes. There is something real going on that is not being fabricated. The um, boycott of Bud Light is real. The uh, excess deaths are real. The adverse effects are real, but they're simply not being covered. So anyway, so my point is um, people are going to put you into categories. People are going to judge you based on your beliefs, whether that's uh, because you're vegan, whether that's because you uh, choose to live a natural life in an unnatural world. People are going to put you, you know, because you don't like um, vulgarity and cursing. Uh, people are going to put you in particular categories and you have no control over that. What you do have control over is you should not allow those labels to affect your health decisions. 
you are your own authority you can make your decisions as to what you're going to put in your body what you're going to put on your body and you should not allow the politicization of the um of health and wellness to influence you you shouldn't be doing something simply because this is what um uh, um, liberals do or this is what conservatives do or not do something because oh I don't want people to perceive me as a conservative or right wing if I refuse the magic potion so that's my point simply that um, hesitance is not a political stance it is a health stance your skepticism logic critical and analysis of a situation before you make your decisions having standards in, in terms of what you put into your body and put on your body are not political though people will attempt to make them so so you have to make sure that your your decisions and your stance and your um, consistency and your persistence and your determination are not influenced by other people's political uh, labels that they attach to you. Hope that makes sense. So that just something that uh, I realized as my YouTube profile seems to be shifting to right leaning uh, based on those standards. Just really interesting, something to think about, and uh, see you in the next video. Tell her not to wake up.